Hello friends, it's Nova here. Let's do a quick vlog about gaming gear. Um, I broke my headphones. They seem perfectly fine, like this, but um, when you're trying to wear them, you see that the handle thing or whatever it's called, it's, it's snapped in half and it's only there, you know, hanging there with the wire that's peeking through there. I have seriously no idea how this would have happened because I've had this like 10 months or so? 10? Possibly? Yes. So um, my way to use this has been quite normal. Just wearing them and then hanging them right on the Mic microphone arm. I've been quite gentle with these because they're plasticky, so very plasticky and you know, just I can't get my head around this, but um, I'm trying to get a refund. There's still um, warranty left and let's see what happens. Um, the problem is, you know, I could go and get a new pair of whatever they have in the store, but I have talked about this before, but uh, my head is quite small, so not every headphone or headset works with me. So, um, yeah, it's really a shame. So I'm just really hoping to get a new pair of these, you know, through the warranty, because, um, you know, if something works for me, I'm not going to just throw it away. You know, if, even though it's very plasticky and this will most likely happen again with a new pair. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Let's see what happens. So, I got a new gaming mouse. I actually haven't had a, you know, a real gaming mouse before, so it's my first, first one that matter so yeah nice green lights there it's um razor naga 2014 model and there has been two or three models of that in the naga series i guess and yeah it's it's quite big that's my that's that's like the first thing i noticed so um i figured I was about the size thing after the purchase because there was no models to try and touch in the shelf because it was 50% off couldn't resist you know like it says here oh crap what was that 99.95 euros and was minus 50% so you know that stuff happens so this is specified for MMO gaming, as you can see with the, a lot of buttons right here. And there's overall 17 buttons all over the mouse. So it's quite big for my tiny little hand. Everything I could say after just two days of use, two or three days, whatever, uh, is that um, it sure is a gaming mouse. There, you know, almost no input lag. Uh, feels really nice, uh, it's quick, it's, you know, there are lots of settings you can go and tweak, you know, it just, it gives what it promises, and that's really nice, but I'm still not sure if this works for me, you know, because of its size, but we'll see how it, what's going to happen and if I like it or not, but just for the comparison, um, I don't feel like this works for a, you know, desktop use, or at least I'm feeling like it's not great for me when I do editing. For some reason, um, you know, the DPI settings are really strange, and just just something it doesn't feel really good for desktop use. But um, I've been really liking. This one that I had before, now it's broken, <laughs> it's the Logitech um, M705, 
and I used this for gaming earlier before the Razer one. Yeah, it wasn't that great for gaming, to be honest. Of course, it's very nice for my hand. It's almost perfect, but um, because it's Bluetooth, you know, input lag, things like that. Also, I had a micro switch problem that is the reason that it's broken. The buttons one and two, the switches under there, they're both broken. And it's just, it sucks. Because otherwise, this is a really good mouse for 40, 50 euros. And it's also with laser. And there's nice weight in it. It feels really good in your hand. The top material, the plastic. Oh, there's <laughs> almost no logo left anymore. But um, it's really smooth and it feels very nice even after a long day of editing. Oh, and also the wheel. The two settings, free, rolling, and it's so there's a nice weight. It feels really good. And when you press the mid button right there it gets all scrunchy <laughs> and i have to say i really like the extra buttons right here those two they were really nice for editing purposes and you know right now i'm just wondering if i should get a new one i was thinking about um replacing the switches but just a awfully lot of work for small pieces of plastic and metal so you know I'm not sure what to do just yet so I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with this one because um, as I said it's it's great for editing but you know that's it and this one it feels kind of good for gaming yeah of course it's, it's great for gaming I'm just sure if it works for me that well but we'll see we'll see what happens and figure it all out okay so that's all for today but um if you have any kind of questions ideas comments anything just leave them down below in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye